Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you very much for this uh, great invitation. Uh, this is a, a very rare complication or bad luck that happened with me twice in my life, both were three years ago at the same month. Uh, we will go through two cases in this presentation. First case was five, 55 year old lady with previous PCI to her right coronary and LAD three years earlier. She came to my clinic with positive stress ECG with high risk features due to treatment score was about um, a minus 16 and plus angina functional class three on optimal medical treatment. I went to her, I took her directly to the cath lab. Uh, this was, the lift system was okay. This was his, her right coronary. You can appreciate the critical stenosis after the RV branch. So I thought it's a piece of cake, just the light wire, PT2LS, my workhorse wire. I could manage to put pass 1.5 balloon. Okay, okay. And now I'm ready to put my stent. I took uh, a CE mark stent, uh, 2.75 by 28, trying to put it in this lesion very simply, but it stopped here. After about five to six minutes of trials, nothing new happens. I don't find the lesion here, something I don't understand. Uh, before taking a body wire or anchoring, distal anchoring and changing the guide uh, after PCA, I preferred to go for more balloon dilatation with 2O balloon. Or she had an, a stent here that had mild instant stenosis in this segment, in the mid segment. After that, the stent stopped in the same position. I don't understand what's going on, but I should find another solution. I decided to go with a bigger balloon. But when I went out with my stent, I found the stent not on the balloon. I found that the balloon alone, what happened? I didn't find any resistance while going out, but uh, the wire, thanks God, was still there, was still inside the stent. The stent, you can see it here. So very carefully, I don't want to lose my wire. I managed to put my guiding again to be coaxial with the stent, but the stent is totally outside the right coronary artery. So stent loss has no much to, to say in the guidelines, but uh, it's a, just a mechanical issue that you should uh, use your migration, imagination, creativity, and flexibility. You can resolve it just by retrieval inside the guiding and you go out with the whole system or uh, to uh, don't retrieve to deploy or crush it, depending on two situations. Either you are inside or outside the coronary and either your guide wire is inside the stent or you lost your guide wire. And of course, the stent is of good uh, shape or it is destroyed. So I started to go with a small balloon, 1.5 balloon. I managed to go inside to the distal part of the stent and I tried to pull back to catch my stent inside the guiding. You can see, but the stent also left this balloon. The stent is insisting to stand there. So uh, I was lucky that the stent was pushed inside the raised coronary because I was totally coaxial. I used its previous balloon and managed it to go inside. And there was a small puff. I, I was sure that I'm buried inside the right coronary most of the stent. It's just an osteal stenting, and it's not a matter if there is a lesion here or not. I just wanted to put it and deploy it inside. I started its deployment with a bigger balloon, then a bigger and a bigger balloon. It was 2.75, so it's not, it's not very away from the size of this part of the artery. And I'm quite sure there is a problem in this stent. So I was brave enough to take another stent, another manufacturer <clears throat> with the same size, and it passed very easily to the distal part. Um, I deployed it here, and this is the final result. This was in the beginning of 2020, and the case is, is very okay up till now. She didn't complain again. This is my first case. Ah, oh, two cases, the same, the same complication, the same silicon. This one may be called iatrogenic because I didn't manage uh, things well. 72 year old lady, previous PCI to osteal left main and osteal LCX, one stent to cross over one and a half years earlier because of osteal uh, left main and osteal CX stenosis at this time. Using BIOS dedicated stent for bifurcation, she had attacks of typical chest pain at night. Uh, I didn't want to go for exercise. I took her immediately to the cath lab and you can appreciate the osteal left main and stent stenosis. Um, you can appreciate this, either calcium or the stent. 
I put a wire in the LED, the LCX ostium is okay. The stent didn't restenote there. So I have localized the problem. Uh, this is after nitro, getting back with my caster and nitro uh, to exclude spas. There was a, a true lesion. Um, the, not, the big balloon didn't go in the LED direction, so I took a small one first to dilate. Then I took a 3.0 non-compliant balloon to pre-dilate my situation. And this was my fault. I didn't want to reach the bifurcation area because it was a narrow angle and uh, there is a stint in the direction of the CX. So I chose, I, I thought I was lucky that I found a 4.0 by 10 stint on my shelf. I took it to just put it in this very focal and it's interesting you know, at the ostium after preparing with 3.0 non-compliant balloon. Uh, I'm not reaching the bifurcation. I went some inside. I'm working right radial with Jotkin lift, not to go deep in the lift main. And this may be one of the causes for what happened. This is what happened. During inflation, the whole stint swiped outside the vessel. It was very tough, very tough. Now you can appreciate the stint is like a ring around my guiding here at the tip, but it's totally outside uh, the left main. I took a deep breath. I decided to be calm, not to lose my temper. I tried to dilate this lesion by the stent balloon, the 4.0 balloon, but every time it slipped, now I catch it and dilated it with this balloon just to think of any other solution. Now you can appreciate the stent migrated here, here up, up at the shaft, at the ostium of the brachiocephalic artery. The stent is 4.0, fully inflated, and it is like a ring around my guiding. Uh, also, I didn't find any suitable size of stenting for the left main on my shelf. So I decided to stop. I didn't do complications in the left main up till now, but I should find a solution for this stent. So I inflated the balloon at high pressure and decided to go with the whole system out to catch this stent on its balloon until the, the balloon stopped at the sheath, the radial sheath. And I, I didn't find the stint, but I found it here. It's dancing for me at the axillary or brachial artery. So it's still loose. It can go proximal more or it can cause thrombosis. I tried many times to go with my wire, with my light wire inside it. But each time it was stuck to the wire and go proximally with it. So I was stopping. Finally, I did a very small loop to manage to go from inside the struts, and I used its balloon to lodge it for the maximum it can reach. You can see it doesn't go more distally. I used a bigger 4.5 balloon to deploy it in place. It's somewhere in the arterial tree of the right arm. Then I went in again with my diagnostic. Uh, Jotkin right catheter, not to harm the stent, and took this image. I I did a bifurcation bifurcation stenting for this segment of the brachial artery with the provisional stenting, and the lady is okay for the previous three years. I just told her never to measure her blood pressure from the right hand. Uh, I did a Doppler uh, six months ago for her. It was very okay. The pulse is okay. And she's totally asymptomatic cardiac wise. I don't know if she's refusing to go again or she's uh, asymptomatic. I agree My... with her. Okay. I agree with her. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I explained everything for her and she is intelligent and she understood if I go again or anyone can go again, he can cause a problem. So she told me I'm an old lady. I can go to the toilet. I don't need more. Uh, in the era of factory cram uh, cramping of the stents, stents dislodgement is now a very rare complication, less than 1% versus 8% with the hand crimped uh, stents before that can occur when dealing with recalcitrant or tough lesions. Solutions mainly depends on the stent inside or outside the coronaries and whether you lost your guide wire or not. And this dictum, you can never avoid all complications, but when it happens, you should be calm. Sorry. 
use your tools and think out of the box. And right. thank you. Sure.